And remember, go at your own pace. Don't try and hurry through it. Try to take it slow. Introduce yourself. What's your name? My name Marcus. And what's the title of your math rap or poem? Deliverance. All right. I can add and take away, but reminders always spoil my day. Column addition makes me sigh. Why do they pile these things so high? Fractions are only part of my grief, and decimals give me no relief. I've worn some flowers in my hair, but never seen a root that's square. I'm told my factor isn't prime, and I can't even tell time. Rectangles look like squares to me. Hey, dude, what is the LCD? I've drawn some angles that are round. Do grams or ounces make a pound? Here's a fact that I found. I find profound. PIR squared measures something round. First, it's a numeral, numeral, then a number. The things I learned just made me dumber. If if you want to ask or catch me later, I'm in the dark with my calculator, but I finally learned to do them right. Then took algebra, and wow, I'm right. So now my numbers are a breeze. I even know my X, Y, Zs. Very good, very good, very good. Y'all better make some noise. Pamela. Introduce yourself and your math, the title of your math rap or poem. My name is Pamela. My rap is called Woe Math. I got math in that grade, it is woe. But I gotta learn to get paid like woe. I like addition in math like woe. Got me on a mission doing graphs like woe. Learning how to do parentheses like woe. Learning how to do my three times three like woe. I like to do fractions like woe. My teacher had a big reaction like woe. More math. More graph I wanted and my pack of the math like come through for a test like whoa. I do good and I should and I will with the deal like whoa. Yeah. Hey, she was flowing, huh? She was flowing over there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right. Math is something pretty cool. It's something that you learn in school. There's a lot of chapters in a math book you will see if you just take a look. Like coefficients and claim fractions are even the aggregate definition of subtraction. I know this sounds like really hard words, but when you learn how to do it, it's a new world. Another good thing is that the answers are in the back of the book. Like I said before, just take a look. Also in the back of the book, there are progress self-tests, and they want you to take these tests so you can do your best. Reviews, previews is all the same. If you don't take them, you only have yourself to blame. You also have good examples to lead the way, so if you don't pay attention, you'll be far away. I know this poem might be a little bit boring, but something you need to learn to make you start soaring, meaning making money, getting a good job, etc. Hey! Good job, good job, good job. Yeah. Hold on, hold on. Because, see, I might use some of these clips from my album, so you never know. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so what's your name? Tisa. Tisa? Yeah, Tisa. What, what grade is it, are you in? Uh, eighth. Eighth grade? Yeah. And you go to what school? This <laughs> what, what school is that? Elmhurst. Elmhurst, alright. Okay, my book is called The Life of Matt. Exploded in equation leaves amazement. Growth models for powering, clocks to lots, while inequality finds their property. Factoring in growth brings deeper slopes. Y equals MS plus B keeps you in, keep it in your memory. Positive, negatives, real numbers too. All these things can work for you. Practice reviews, quizzes, and tests. Doing these things can make you the best. Don't put it behind. The life of math should stand your mind. Oh, good, 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 good. Oh, fire. Who else? Who else? Keep it flowing. Keep it flowing. What? Dominic, I thought she was gonna perform with uh Larry. No, I wasn't. You said sometime in your life you're gonna have to step up in front of people, so you might as well do it now. Okay, you know we got love for you. All right, so what's your name? Amanda. <laughs> what's the title? Math. That's it. Math and numbering. Oh, okay. Go ahead. Subtraction is to isolate. Addition is to be long. Divide is to separate as to multiply is to continue. Equations are like an ending story, but solutions are like the answers. Positive is to be more what you are. Negative is to give up what you have. When you see the long word, the fact of, the fact of theorem, you feel like giving up. 
but this is only math to be tough. So whenever you don't know what to do, think of this poem and maybe it'll help. Because I want everybody to know that my students always step up when it's time to step up. <laughs> so you ready? Now what's your name? You don't have a name. Now don't go out like that on tape. Don't go out like that on tape. I know you're ready. Plus, our ready is good. Yours and Philip. So, Philip, you next, right? Ma'am, do I have to? Ah. Yup, you have to. Come up in front of everybody. Catch that. Get up there, y'all. It's good. Can I sit down? Nope, you can stand up where you're at, though. Can Shakita do it for me? Nope, you gotta do it. It's original work. <laughs> so, what's your name? Kirsten. What period is this? It's fourth period. And what class is this? <laughs> huh? Algebra. Okay. Go ahead. What's the title of your work? It don't got no title. All right. <laughs> Go ahead. We're ready. We can't do it. We're ready. <laughs> it's okay to be scared, but you and get over it. It's advisory period. This is in third and fourth. All right. Say that. I like them smart, the ones who like math, the books, open a book and start to read, and don't know when to stop. I need a math girl chick, an algebra chick, one of those that does her work and since she learned that she could solve a problem with subtraction and addition. If, with subtraction and addition, and division in it, with this little but heck of problems, and you know she did, and turn around and check her work and throw it at the Mr. Wellington, he said, well, that's enough because I'm a math girl chick, an algebra chick, one that I don't really care because I did that. Very good, very good, very good. So you did it. You're done now.